Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and this is the Nerd Morning Show, and I am going to be talking about my manga collection. I'm really excited about this. I recently added this bookshelf, went through and reorganized everything. I have read everything on the shelves, and so I can talk about them. So we're going to go through these kind of in depth, and I'll show off a little bit of this collection. First off, we have some figures from Ruby, Naruto, as well as Demon Slayer. I really enjoy those up on top. Starting out with the first series that I have is my uh, Attack on Titan series. Um, I got these in a bunch of different forms and really um, the best way to collect, I would say, is that Omnibus collection. It The paper is really good. It's a little bit bigger and uh, the way that it's collected like that is really fantastic. The, my second favorite way was the standard editions. Um, the special editions are really, really expensive. They have an extra dust jacket, which are really cool with these um, beautiful backs and a specialty front, which is really, really awesome. But ultimately, I don't think it's worth the money. The Colossal Editions, they look incredible. The paper's really, really thin, though. And uh, it's not my favorite way. Attack on Titan, some parts of the series I absolutely love. Some of it I don't love. But I think it's an interesting one. And it's one that was one of the first ones that I started reading when I got into manga. Got my little Batman figure. And behind that, we have the first volume of the bat manga that actually was one that came out in the 60s so it's a really older style of a storytelling uh format for the manga and i was really interested because most of the stuff that i've been reading has been really really modern um then we have batman and the justice league that one i've got the first three volumes and it is a great great series uh, then we have the Battle Angel Alita. I've got the Deluxe Edition and also the Loot Crate Edition of that first volume. And it's a joy. It's a really cool series and I need to get more of those. Deadpool Samurai Volumes 1 and 2. And then we've got uh, an art piece featured with a character from Sword Art Online, which is one of my favorites as well. Demon Slayer, I've got only a little bit in this. So we've got 1, 2, and 3, 4, and then 6, as well as the stories from Water and Flame. This series is absolutely incredible, and I'm just working to be able to find more for that series. Uh, then Dr. Stone 1 and 2. This series has been really, really incredible. The anime is fantastic, and I needed to be able to get more of those uh, in the coming days. Uh, Dragon Goes House Hunting. This story is really, really funny, and one I definitely... Um, I just had a lot of fun with it. It was a little bit slice of life. A guy... This dragon is trying to find a house and nothing works. It's, I don't know, it's really fun. Dragon Half, I was shocked about how entertaining and fun this was. This one I picked up really on a whim because uh, it was on sale and it was, it was awesome. Food Wars, this is a classic, um, really, really fantastic story. And I need more of those. They're really, really fun. If you love food, it just like, it makes me want to go cooking, which is great. My Full Metal Alchemist series is very incomplete. I absolutely love the anime series, and I want to get all of the Full Metal editions, these hardcovers. They are beautiful. They are incredible. Um, the first one we have... Uh, the and the second one we have the brothers and that's really really cool and gorgeous and then I have the um, older editions here for a couple um, of the other volumes again I got them on sale and it was hard to pass up on that we've got Kirito uh, Funko Pop uh, again that's from Sword Art Online Fruit Baskets the collector's editions which are beautiful books uh, for Fruits Baskets 1, 2, and 3. Obviously a lot more on that series to go. We've got Ghost Hunter um, Volume 1. And then Ghost in the Shell. This is the standalone complex 
uh, story arc, um, and we just have that volume one. Goblin Slayer volume one, uh, really gritty, very kind of scary. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I have not gotten any farther in it, as you can tell. Uh, the Great uh, Jahe uh, Will Not Be Defeated, Volumes 1 through 3. It's a hilarious, like, reverse isekai of a demon princess, as it were, who comes to the regular world and has to survive. Um, and then we've got Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? I think this is a really, really uh, fun fantasy dungeon story. I feel like it feels very, very video game e in how the story is set up how the leveling up of characters work and all that kind of stuff and then we've got some light novels for that as well um jujutsu, jujutsu kaisen one and two um that's an awesome series and i just need to keep on going with it uh kaiju number eight this series is one that i would have a hard time praising enough um it is a gorgeous uh art style and you've got a character who's going monster hunting and i i love the journey the, the everything about it it is one that's going to recently have uh, recently was announced that it's going to have an anime and i'm very excited for it Komi can't communicate i have everything for that in english this is one of the greatest series that i have read um, it's a slice of life. Nothing spectacular happens because it's just um, kids growing up and uh, learning about uh, that process of growing up. It's really fun. Um, you know, Comey's goal is to be able to make a bunch of friends. And uh, we go through that journey as she is an extremely... Um, shy person who has a difficulty voicing her thoughts. Uh, I just love it. It's incredible. We have this All Might Funko, which I just absolutely love. Um, and we also on this shelf have some Naruto style kunai knives and other things, which I think are really, really awesome. Konosuba, um, Volume 1. Um, this story is just so fun it's like the isekai that makes fun of isekai and that just makes it so worth it it's super fun um uh, miss kobayashi's dragon maid volume one as well as um elmia's office lady diary it's a, a really fun additional story there that's just a great little story my Dress Up Darling, this series is so incredible. If you're a cosplayer, it's a series that I would definitely recommend. It is so much fun. The main characters are very, very lovable. And their journey to be able to create things and love uh, loving things, if you're into something, you're excited about it, they're celebrating being interested into those type of things and enjoying them. And I absolutely love the positive vibes that I get from that story. My hero, we've got one through six up here. And then we go all the way to 31. This is a great uh, superhero themed thing. And as I am somebody who absolutely loves superheroes, um, it is one that I think is very approachable to get into the genre. Um, then we have um, team up missions. These the heroes, well, I guess the young heroes, actually team up with team up with real heroes who are professionals, and that's an awesome addition to, for more stories there. Then you have the Smash stories. It's like an alternate universe, and it's like one that's making fun of itself and i find it absolutely hilarious um very very enjoyable um i have a deku uh, rescuing eri uh, funko and this is just like absolutely awesome and i love having that right there with my hero academia stuff then i've got the vigilante series and that series takes us all the way up here got a little spider-man reading which i think is fun and we go back up here to uh, the rest of the vigilantes here that we have in English. Uh, also, I have the, this Naruto picture, which just makes me happy. Uh, Wonder Woman going up there as well. 
Uh, back down, we've got Naruto. It's been very difficult for me to actually find and collect this series. Um, watched the show, absolutely loved it. So being able to jump around a little bit because of that was helpful. Um, but I just been piecing it together. Um, we've got one with some sun damage, which I feel sad about. We'll definitely want to eventually replace. Uh, we've got these, these are not mangas, uh, little storybook stuff for Star Wars that just kind of helping those sit up well. Um, then we have my last bit of Naruto so far. Uh, one Piece, this uh, starts out with the East Blue Story arc and it's volumes one through three. I think this version of it, I love the spine, but I think that the paper was really, really thin and I think I'd rather collect it in the single volumes because um, I just felt like I was having to be really, really fragile with this book to read it. Um, and so the other versions, I feel like it can be just a little bit more rough with it while I read, which uh, I think can be helpful. I got a Pokemon handbook starting out with my Pokemon Adventures manga series. We've got one through seven, jumps to 29. We have a library edition that was one I picked up at a thrift shop. Um, I honestly do a lot of thrifting in my books, um, trying to buy pretty much everything I can and discount if possible um, makes a big difference um, on the bank account, right? Uh, the quintessential quintuplets one and two, uh, Red Riding Hood and the Big Sad Wolf. Not a huge fan of this one. It was okay. I, I, I had fun reading it, but I'm not going to search for any more in that series. As you can see, I'm really excited, particularly right now to sample and try a lot of different stories. So I have a couple of uh, volumes from a bunch of different stories and I'm just trying to explore, see what's available, see what's out there. Um, and that's been really good. And there's certain things that I've really started to dive in more to, which I think is fantastic. Okay, so my Ruby collection, this is, I think everything available in English right now. We have the official manga, the one through three, and this is essentially the same as the series, which um, if you're a big fan of the series and want to see a manga version of it, then this is really great for that. Uh, then we have these ones are like, like extra stories. Um, one through four focuses on each of the four main girls. And then Shine, we have um, that other team and it's really, really fun. And then Ruby, um, this other one, the red manga, um, has some additional stories. I put in here the Fairy Tales of Remnant just to kind of have all my Ruby stuff together. Um, that is a storybook that kind of has some stories from the universe of that. Uh, Seven Deadly Sins 1 and 2. Um, I found that really fun. Uh, Showman Sample. Um, I, this was okay. I uh, picked it up for like a dollar. Not really generally my thing, but um, I had fun reading it. It was it was all right. Um, solo leveling, this story is incredible. Um, I think there are two more volumes in English, and I'm looking to be able to get those. Um, uh, quick note, I've got some of my Japanese ones in the back there. I'm trying to learn Japanese. I think that would be fun to be able to read some of these in their uh, uh, original form. And so kind of collecting those, I picked those ones up for a dollar. And so it was worth it, you know, to add to the collection that way. Uh, Spy Family 1 through 7. Uh, these are incredible. This is one of the best series that I have read. Uh, could not put it down and had to find the rest of it as soon as I was able. Uh, Star Wars Leia, uh, Princess of Alderaan, really fun Star Wars story. Uh, Street Fighter, that was really cool. Um, I enjoy the game, so finding a, uh, it, that one's more like a comic more than a manga um, in the, its format and style. But it was really cool to see some of that, uh, kind of how that played out. Um, then I have this hollow version um, of Sword Online Progressive Volume 1. And then I have Sword Art, on, Sword Art Online um, Progressive with the, uh, I think you call that um, uh, Barcolo um, uh, of Frost. Um, this was 
Uh, I don't know, a fun story. I like how these are more focused towards like Asana's experience. Um, and then we have Sword Art Online Hollow Realization. This is a really, really fun one as well. Um, I need to get more of that series because I just absolutely love it and have a lot of fun with it. Um, the Way of the House Husband. I've got only volumes seven and eight, but it's very, very episodic. You can read these in any order and they'll make sense. Your Name, Volume 1, uh, different than what I normally read, but again, I had a lot of fun with it. Then we have, um, this, I've got four out of the five that are collected in these uh, Legendary Editions, and these ones are re essentially retellings of the different video games, Ocarina of Time, um, Oracle of Seasons, Oracle of Ages, the Minish Cap, uh, Phantom Hourglass, and Four Swords. And these were really, really fun to read. You actually get to see Link talk and have conversations. And I think that that was really cool. And I have Thor's hammer just kind of holding everything up. So if I kind of pedal back and take a look, um, we've got those on that shelf and these on this shelf. And that is where my collection currently is. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a tour. And let me know if you guys think that I should be picking things up uh, that I you think that I would enjoy. Put those in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Thanks guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time for another video.